On this video we're taking a look at our NBA over and under picks for the games that are happening on Saturday, April 2nd, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Philadelphia 76ers vs Charlotte Hornets. Over 232.5 points. And here is why. The Charlotte Hornets are averaging 114.8 points on 46.4% shooting and allowing 114.4 points on 46.3% shooting. Miles Bridges is averaging 20.3 points and 3.8 assists, while LaMelo Ball is averaging 20 points and 6.7 rebounds. Terry Rozier is the third double-digit scorer and Gordon Hayward is dishing 3.6 assists. The Charlotte Hornets are shooting 36.2% from beyond the arc and 73.9% from the free throw line. The Charlotte Hornets are allowing 35.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.8 rebounds per game. Philly ranks 17th in the association at 109 points per game and they're also 17th in shooting percentage at 46.1%. They've been decent from beyond the arc, hitting 35.8% of their three-pointers. Despite having Embiid in the paint, the team ranks 29th overall in rebounding at 42.3 per game. However, they see a slight uptick in rebound rate, where the Sixers are 22nd at 48.7. When it comes to a player-by-player -player basis, it's Embiid leading the offensive charge this season. He's averaging 30.0 points per game and snatching 11.5 rebounds. Charlotte is getting hot at the right time. They've won 8 out of their last 10 games, and that's seen them jam up the playoff race down the stretch. As a team, the Hornets are the top scoring team in the league, where they average 115 points per game. They're shooting the 13th best from the field at 46.4% and are cashing 36.2% of their triples. As for individual efforts, Bridges is the leading scorer with 20.3 points per game, while LaMelo Ball is adding 20.0 points per game. The Philadelphia 76ers are averaging 108.7 points on 46.1% shooting and allowing 106.7 points on 45.7% shooting. Joel Embiid is averaging 30 points and 4.2 assists, while James Harden is averaging 22.7 points and 9.6 assists. Tobias Harris is the third double-digit scorer and Therese Maxey is dishing 4.3 assists. The Philadelphia 76ers are shooting 35.8% from beyond the arc and 82% from the free throw line. The Philadelphia 76ers are allowing 34.3% shooting from deep and are grabbing 42.3 rebounds per game. New York Knicks vs Cleveland Cavaliers. Under 214.5 points. And here is why. The Cleveland Cavaliers are averaging 107.2 points on 46.7% shooting and allowing 105.2 points on 45.3% shooting. Darius Garland is averaging 21.5 points and 8.7 assists, while Jared Allen is averaging 16.1 points and 10.8 rebounds. Evan Mobley is the third double-digit scorer and Laurie Markkinen is grabbing 5.6 rebounds. The Cleveland Cavaliers are shooting 34.9% from beyond the arc and 76.2% from the free throw line. The Cleveland Cavaliers are allowing 35% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.3 rebounds per game. New York entered the season with expectations that they would once again be back in the playoffs, but nothing went their way this season. In their last game were competitive the entire time against Charlotte, but were outscored in each of the final three quarters to drop the game. They did get solid performances from Evan Fournier, RJ Barrett, and Julius Randle who dropped 30, 25, and 21 points, respectively. Alec Burks also had a double-double with 12 points and 12 rebounds. Emmanuel quickly also dropped 16 off the bench. The New York Knicks are averaging 106.4 points on 43.7% shooting and allowing 107 points on 44.8% shooting. Julius Randle is averaging 20.1 points and 9.9 .9 rebounds, while Large A. Barrett is averaging 20.1 points and 2.9 assists. Evan Fournier is the third double-digit scorer and Derrick Rose is grabbing three rebounds. The New York Knicks are shooting 35.6% from beyond the arc and 74.5% from the free-throw line. 
the New York Knicks are allowing 34.3% shooting from deep and are grabbing 46.2 rebounds per game. The Cavaliers are currently in 7th in the East and are two games ahead of Brooklyn, Charlotte, and Atlanta and 2.5 games back of Toronto. With that, it's still uncertain who they will play in the first play-in game as they look to become the 7th seed, but they will have at least two games to try to enter the playoffs. In their last 10 games, they are 4-6, to six, while they have struggled on the road as they are 18-20. to 20. This season, they have been led by Garland who's averaging 21.5 ppg, while Evan Mobley is in the running for Rookie of the Year as he's averaging 14.9 points and 8.3 rebounds. Chicago Bulls vs Miami Heat. Under 220.5 points. And here is why. The Miami Heat have been searching for consistency as they've split their last eight games, but they will be aiming for a third straight win after outlasting the Celtics in a 106-98 statement win on Wednesday. Jimmy Butler led the team with 24 points on 9 of 17 shooting, Kyle Lowry added 23 points with 8 assists, while Bam Adebayo tallied 17 points with 12 rebounds and 8 assists. As a team, the Heat shot 48% from the field and 13 of 34 from the three-point line as they went back and forth with the Celtics in a tight contest until the fourth quarter where they clamped down defensively and held the Celtics to just 15 points to escape with a much-needed win. Chicago, which led the Eastern Conference for a large portion of the season, moved a half-game ahead of sixth-place Toronto with five games left. The Bulls are trying to stay in the top six in order to avoid the play-in tournament. Nikola Vucevic added 22 points and 14 rebounds. Zach Lavin scored 21 as the Bulls won for the third time in four games. Chicago has been top five in both field goal and three-point field goal percentages for much of the year. Miami came away with a big road win over the Red Hot Celtics 106-98 on Wednesday night in a battle of two of the best teams in the NBA. Jimmy Butler dropped 24 and Bam Adebayo finished with 17 points and 12 rebounds as Miami posted its second straight win since a season-worst four-game losing streak. The Heat are now back in front in the Eastern Conference, one game up on Milwaukee and a game and a half on Boston. The Chicago Bulls have been in decent form as they've won three of their last four games and they will be aiming for a third straight win after sneaking past the Clippers in a 135-130 overtime win on Thursday. Demer Derozan led the team with 50 points, 5 rebounds and 6 assists, Nikola Vucevic added 22 points with 14 rebounds, while Zach Lavin chipped in with 21 points and 5 assists. As a team, the Bulls shot 49% from the field and 10 of 29 from the 3-point line as they poured in 36 points in the fourth quarter to overcome an early 16-point deficit before they escaped in overtime where they never trailed. Lavin had a rough shooting night as he shot just 5 of 17 from the field, but Darazin barely missed as he shot 17 of 26 from the field. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.